Hello everyone. This is our set of the day. It says five friends A, B, C, D, E were given certain number of packets of toffees by their parents, and each of them got different number of packets, and each packet contains ten toffees. So every person A, B, C, D, E, everyone is getting the different number of packets, and each packet has the same number of toffees, that is ten toffees. They all met under tree and decided to exchange the toffees among themselves. Firstly, A, B, D exchanged their packets among themselves so that no one of the three had their original number of toffees with them. Thereafter, B, C, D exchanged their packets in the same manner. That is, no one had their original number of toffees with them. And in the last, C, D, E, they exchanged the toffees and they have the same condition. Now, we have some additional information given that initially E has a maximum number of toffees which was not more than 60. But after all the exchanges, E has the minimum number of toffees and was not which was not the uh, which was not less than 10 but one thing we should uh, keep in mind is that it is written that e has not uh, taken part in the first two exchanges right e has taken part in the last exchange only the first one was between abd the second one was between bcd and the only last one was between cde second says number of toffees with each of the friends after all the exchanges was different from what they initially had <coughs> and number of toffees with b and c after second exchange is given after each exchange the number no two friends have the same number of toffees and uh, this is important after each exchange no two friends have the same number of toffees right and number of toffees with abd after first exchange is given and none of the friends has opened any of the packets before the final exchange <coughs> this is the information let us now try to arrange it in the table <coughs> so here we have <coughs> five friends a b c d e and the initial number of toffees with them after the first exchange what they have after the second exchange what they have and after the third exchange what they have and we have some information given here it is written that number of toffees with b and c after second exchange was 40 and 20 respectively so b and c they have 40 and 20 toffees after second exchange so after second exchange b has 40 toffees and c has 20 toffees right now one thing is clear the first exchange happened between abd first exchange happened between abd the second one happened with between bcd and the third one happened between c d and e since b did not participate in the third exchange that means whatever the number of toffees he has after the second exchange will be the final number of toffees with him so, if after second exchange B has 40 toffees with him, that means after third exchange he must have 40. Next it says number of toffees with ABD after the first exchange was 30, 10, and 20 respectively. So after first exchange, A has 30, <coughs> B has 10, and D has 20 toffees with him. Now, now uh, this is the case after the first exchange. Again, we can see that the first exchange was happened between A, B, D. So A did not participate in the uh, second or the third exchange. That means after the first exchange, if A has 30 toffees, that means he will be having 30 after second as well as the after the third exchange, since he is not participating anymore in the <coughs> exchanges, right? Now, after second exchange, B is having 40 toffees, but after the first exchange, he is having 10 toffees. First exchange ke baad, B ke baad 10 hai, but after second he has 40 toffees. That means he must have got 30 toffees. And since the second exchange happened between B, C, D and the number of toffees with B increased from 10 to 40, that means B must have got 30 toffees. These 30 toffees must have been given by either C or D to B, right? But since D only has 20 toffees with him after the first exchange so he can give b only how many 10 toffees 
but he already has 10 topics so he uh, he has got 30 topics right so he has got 30 topics okay so 10 he already has 30 he uh, gets from either c or d and since d has only 20 topics with him so the maximum that d can give to b is 10 so the maximum that d can give is 10 right since each packet has 10 topics also they all have the different number of packets with him and each packet has 10 toffees that means the total toffees must be a multiple of 10 that is very much clear right so b initially after the first exchange has 10 toffees but after the second exchange he has 40 toffees that means he must have got 30 toffees from c and d and since after the first exchange d has only 20 toffees with him so he can give only 10 toffees to c so d can give uh, sorry to b d can give only 10 toffees to B, right? So that means if D is giving 10, the remaining 20 toffees to C must be given by, uh, uh, the remaining 20 toffees to B must be given by C. So yeah, D negative does D and B go. So remaining 20 must be given by C to B. So that means after the second exchange, actually what is happening in the second exchange is B is getting 10 toffees from C. C is giving 10 to B. Uh, sorry, C is giving 20 to B and D is giving 10 toffees to B. D is giving 10 to B and C is giving 20 toffees to B. <clears throat> so if D is giving 10 toffees to B, that means after this exchange, D should have 10 toffees. And since C is giving 20 toffees to B, that means after Given 20 toffees to B, C now has 20 toffees with him. That means initially he should have 40 toffees with him. 40 out of 40, he gave 20 to B and 20 is remaining with him. So after the first exchange, <coughs> C has 40 toffees. Now in the first exchange, C did not participate in. So if D, C did not participate in the first exchange, that means initially C should have 40 toffees with him since he is not participating in the first exchange <coughs> right e he has maximum toffees either 50 or 60 right since the number of toffees are uh, number of toffees is a multiple of 10 it is given that each packet has 10 toffees that means the number of toffees is a multiple of 10 that means and e did not have uh, more than 60 chocolates uh, 60 toffees initially so that means <coughs> He must have 60 or he must have 50. Why? Because we have five friends A, B, C, D, E. And each packet contains 10 toffees. That means if a person has one packet, he must have 10 toffees. If a person has two packets, he must have 20, 30, 40, right, 50 or 60 toffees. Since each of them has a different number of packets. Okay, so either E would have 50 or E would have 60, we do not know. So E must have the maximum ones. And E participated only in the third exchange. That means after the second exchange, first exchange, he should have the maximum. After second, again, he should have the maximum. Since since uh, till now, in after second or the first exchange, no one is getting 50 or 60 toffees, right? So that means till now, E is having the maximum number of toffees. Now, E participated in the <coughs> last exchange, in the third exchange. And in the third exchange, we can see that D is having 10 toffees before, this, uh, before the third exchange. That means after second exchange, D cannot give uh, his toffees to anyone because after that, he will, will not be left with any, any toffee, right? So <coughs> that means what D will do is D, will, D can only get the number of toffees, get the toffees. D can only get the toffees, right? Now, D, if D can get only toffees, he cannot give toffees to anyone now because he already has 10 toffees with him. I can say that since uh, it is given that after two, and you know, uh, after uh, any exchange, uh, the pers this person should have a different number of toffees. It's written that the exchange should be like this. Uh, that no one of the three had their original number of toffees with them. That means if after the third exchange, 
sorry after the second exchange if d has 10 tokens that means d cannot have 10 after the third exchange also d has 10 tokens after the second exchange that means d cannot have the 10 tokens after the third exchange so the only possibilities for d are either he can have 20 he cannot have 30 or 40 right or 20 or 50 or 60 these are the only possibilities that for d <coughs> These are the only possibilities that for D. Now, in order to get 50 toffees, in order to get the 50 toffees to D, uh, for D, if D has 50 toffees, let's say, then he should have, uh, uh, he should got 40 toffees from either C or E. Right? So, 50, uh, sorry, uh, in order to get a 50, D should get 40 toffees from C and D. Now C has only 10 toffees, 20 toffees after second exchange. C can give him to 10, 10 toffees, right? C can give him 10 toffees and uh, in that case, E will give him how many? 30. Only then he can get 50. Okay, in that case, he will get 50. So if E is giving him 30 toffees, then in that case, uh, C is get, having the uh, 10 now. Now, the only possibility for E is that that means if E is giving him 30 toffees, so E initially if have 50 toffees with him, so he will be getting 20 in the in the final scenario. This is not possible because it is given that after the final uh, exchange, E should have the minimum toffees. So e cannot have the minimum in this case. Okay, that simply means that this uh, one thing is uh, clear now that C cannot give the toffees because if C is giving the toffees he, he should give the 10 toffees so he will be having the 10 toffees which would be the minimum right in this case he cannot have the minimum number of toffees with him <coughs> now C cannot give him and if C does not uh, uh, participate in the exchange that means C will be having 20 toffees with him after the exchange right that is again not possible. <coughs> it is also not possible. Let's say <coughs> if we assume that if we assume that the 40 toffees that D is getting uh, additionally, D is getting all these 40 toffees from E. So if D gets all the 40 toffees from E, that means E should have 10 here now. He should have 10 here right that means he cannot go beyond 10 now in this case c will not be the be able to participate in the uh, in the exchange right because either c will give 10 toffees to d in that case c will be having 10 toffees with him which is again not possible or c will not participate at all in which case he will have 20 toffees which are same as per the second exchange and the third exchange right so this is again not possible so it simply means that it simply means that d in this case cannot have 50 toffees right d cannot have 50 toffees on the same lines he cannot have 60 also so that simply means that e can not have 50 or 60 so the only case possible for d is he could have either 20 uh, only 20 sorry not either but only 20 because only possibilities for d were <coughs> he cannot have 10 he cannot have 30 40 so either he could have 20 or 50 or 60 but he cannot have 50 and 60 so only possibility is that d is having 20 toffees with him now, if d is having 20 toffees with him so that means he should have the minimum one he should have 10 toffees so that means if i take 50 or 60 here if he has 50 toffees with the, uh, before uh, the third exchange, he has given 10 to D. So the remaining for, uh, remaining 30 should be given to C, right? If he has, if he has uh, 50 toffees before the third exchange, then he has given 10 to D, okay? And the remaining 30 toffees should be given to C. So C should have 50 here. If he has 60 toffees here, then he has given 10 to D, 10 uh, is left with himself, 
and 40 are given to C. So C will be having the 50 or 60. That means in this case, C will be having the maximum number of copies, right? So this is the case after the third exchange. Now let's say, let's see what happens in the first one or initially. So initially, <coughs> since uh, <coughs> B is having 10 copies after the first exchange, he cannot have zero here. So that means the only possibilities left for <coughs> B are, B cannot have 10 also here, right? So only possibilities in the initially for B are that either B has 10 toffees with him or 30 with him or 50 with him. Similarly, uh, D could have 10 with him, he cannot have 20 initially, he could have 30 or 50, right? And A could have only 10, 20 or 50 with him initially, right? So these are the only possibilities for ABD for the initial number of topics. Since A is having 30 after the first exchange, so he cannot have 30 initially. Now, one thing is clear that B could have 20, 30 or 40 in the first exchange and after the second exchange he has 10 toffees that means he is, he is actually the one who is giving the toffees in the first exchange. In the first exchange ABD they, they participated so B is the one who is giving the toffees. <coughs> right. But there are two cases for uh, D. D could be the one who is taking or he, he could be the one who is giving the number of toffees. 10, 10, 20 toffees. Right. So, <coughs> Let us say B is giving, B is the one who is giving the topics, and first case is D is the one who is giving the topics. If B is giving the topics, D is also giving the topics, so that means B and D both must have given the topics to A. And since A has 30 topics after the uh, first exchange, that means A got 10 topics from B, 10 from D. So in this case, A has 10 initially with him, B has given 10 to a so b should have 20 c d has given 10 to a so d should have initially 30 to him so this is the first case when b and d both are giving the topics the second case could be that b is giving and d is taking topics b is giving and d is taking the d is taking the topics right now if d is taking the topics there could be a case that D is taking toffees from A also because that is possibility that A has 50 toffees with him. Now, if I assume that D is taking the toffees from A and A is the one who is giving toffees in this case. Now, since D has only 20 toffees after the first exchange, so obviously A cannot give toffees to B. So, A must have given toffees to a must have given toffees to D only, right? So if A is giving toffees to D, so that means, that simply means that A has given 10 toffees to D and after that, in that case, first of all, A has 50 toffees. A can only give if he has 50 toffees, right? In that case, A is left with 40 toffees. A can only give in the scenario when he has 50 toffees because after the first exchange he has 30 toffees, right? So let's say he is giving, uh, he has 50 toffees and he is giving 10 to D, so he is left with 40 toffees. No, he cannot give to B. That means the final toffees should, uh, with A should be 40, right? Which is not the case. Now, if I assume that, if I assume one more case, which is not there actually, but let's assume that A has 20 toffees with him, okay, and he has given 10 to D, so he is left with 10 toffees. Now he has to take toffees, 20 toffees from B in order to make them 30, but that is not possible because B has only, uh, sorry, uh, uh, let's say he is taking 20 toffees from B. Let's say he is taking 20 toffees from B, right? So that means B is giving 20 toffees to A. B is giving 20 toffees to A, right? 
then he has with himself then he has with himself after the first exchange that means b should have 30 tokens initially we should have 30 tokens initially in this case and uh so in this case uh you would have uh e since a has given 10 tokens to b right and uh, he has taken 20 from b right so that means he has 30 tokens now with him so it means he should have uh, i am taking a to be 20 right so that that is the case so that means a could have 20 tokens also so in this case a would have 20 tokens and since b is giving 10 uh, uh, sorry 20 tokens to uh, a and after that he is having 10 tokens with him so that means he must have 30 tokens initially with him right and since a is giving 10 to d that means d initially has 10 tokens so 10 plus 10 d will be having 20 tokens right so this is one case this is a little bit confusing now there could be a, another case that that case is that a is not giving the tokens but a is also taking the tokens a is not the giver but he is a taker right so if he is a taker in that case also since uh, d is taking a is taking so d has 20 tokens finally so that means d must have taken uh, 10 tokens from b 10 from b right so initially he should have 10 which is already written here right and since uh, d is uh, sorry a, a is also taking the tokens he must be taking from uh, b only so if if a has 10 tokens initially he should get 10 from b if he has 20 initially he should get 20 from b sorry uh, if he has 10 initially he should get 20 from b and if he has 20 initially he should get 10 from e b sorry <laughs> but this case is not possible first case is not possible right the case where we can say that and is not working actually this case right there is there are two possibilities so if a has 10 initially he should have uh, got 20 from b right if he gets 20 tokens from b so b is giving 10 20 tokens to a 10 to d 30 and he is left with 10 tokens so that means in this case b would get 40 tokens which is equal to the number of tokens with c that is not possible at all okay that simply is not possible so that means in this case a cannot have 20 tokens uh, a cannot get 20 tokens from b a could have 10 initially now if a has 20 tokens initially he could get 10 from b right he can get 10 tokens from b and b has given 10 to d so 10 plus 10 plus 10 so b should have 30 tokens with him so since the first case where a has uh, a is giving token to d is also possible so in the initial case a could have only 10 or 20 tokens b could have 20 or 30 and c could have 30 or 10 tokens so this was all about this set now let us uh, see the questions the first one says if the number of tokens initially with uh, b after first exchange after second and after third exchange are a b c d respectively 
So what could be the sum of a plus b plus c plus d? Now we know that initially b could have initially b could have 20 or 30. That means the value of a could be 20 or 30. Right, value of b a could be 20 or 30. Value of b is value of b is uh, b is the after first exchange it is 10 value of c is 40 and value of d is also 40 so that means the total could be 40 plus 40 80 90 110 or 120 so total could be 110 or 120 right 110 or 120 so among the options 120 is given so answer is option 1 Next, it says for how many persons number of is with them after third exchange can be determined uniquely. So we can see that for the four people A, B, D and E, we can determine the number of toffees with them uniquely. Which of the following is the number of toffees with E uh, initially? So either E could have, since E is having the maximum toffees and 10, 20, 30, 40 are uh, distributed among A, B, C, D, so E could have either 50 or 60. So answer is option number 4. This was all about the set. Thank you to all of you.